And today we are going to build a PC under three minutes. Let's go for it. So step one is the hardest and most time consuming part, which is choosing the components. I will leave links down below for the components that I'm using here, but you can choose any components that you like. And that's the beauty of it. Once all the parts arrive, it's time to get started. Some steps can be done in different order, depending on the case you are using. But here we will start with the case. This is the Fractal Design Era 2 and first, let's remove the dust filter tray and open the case. I will install two 2.5 inch drives. Actually, one of these is SSD and the other one is hard drive. I will also install the power supply, which for this case must be an SFX model, which is smaller than the standard ATX PSUs that we usually use. Simply attach it with four screws and you are good to go. Before installing the motherboard in the case, I will prepare it here. I will install the CPU, which I'm using the Intel Ultra 9 285K. I will add a 2TB SSD NVMe from Sabrent, which is a Rocket 5. And I will install two sticks, 16GB each of Kingston Fury DDR5 RAM. Then let's place the motherboard into the case. And if this is your first time, don't worry, because it's really simple. And depending on the case, if it's a bigger case then we will be able to use different models of motherboards ATX for example which are bigger but in this particular case we only have one choice ITX which are the smaller ones so and if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get even cheaper we just have one space for the motherboard it's very clear and it's also on the user guide so just position it and screw it in that is it we can connect the motherboard cables now or later Personally, I prefer to do it now, even if I have to adjust them later. This way, I know that I won't forget anything. Now it's time to install the CPU cooler. Now, I did opt for a water cooler with a radiator, but there are air coolers which are simpler and just as effective. Now, for this water cooler, just attach the fans to the radiator, mount the block onto the CPU, screw everything into place, and that is it. Now there are only two steps left. First I will connect the power supply cables to the motherboard and drives, leaving one cable aside for the GPU, which will be the last component to install. Now I just need to install the graphics card, which I'm using the ASUS RTX 4060 Dual, but the ASUS 5080 is arriving and it should arrive this week, so I might be able to showcase on this setup. Now, once the GPU is installed, we just need to tidy up the cables and close the case. It's simple as this. In no time, our PC is built. I can then press here on this power button and install my operating system, my software and my games. So if you've never assembled your own computer, it is a awesome project. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.